What it do my backup singers? It is your boy Joey Sings and welcome back to my channel for a brand new video. If this is your first time seeing this face, hit subscribe as well as that bell so you don't miss out on brand new videos like this. So you guys, today your boy is back with a brand new video. You guys, I'll be reacting to slash responding to some of the questions that you guys said that you are afraid to ask your parents. Now I was going through some of these questions and I was like, damn. I would be scared to ask my mama this stuff too. But listen, we about to get on in here. We go. Well, I'm dangerously in love with you eternally. Not just mentally, but physically. I am feeling you. And I really hope that you're feeling me. Is you feeling me? Hold it down for me. And I promise that I'll take care of you. Because I cannot wait until they set me free. So I finally can spend the rest of the day with you. Girl, I'm dangerously in love. I guess I got the questions pulled up right here on my iPad. Let's dive into it, you guys. So the first one says, to get help for mental health, but I don't want the attention of it. Listen, that is something that I feel like a lot of people can agree with, can relate to. When it comes to like mental health, depression, anxiety, and all of this stuff, you don't want to ask your parents for it, but you need to. That is something that you need to sit your mom and dad down and be like, listen, I think I'm depressed. I think this is what's going on help me help myself like sometimes we have to get that attention a little bit to better ourselves we don't want it to grow and manifest and then you know we, it gets worse because depression can lead to suicidal thoughts and suicidal thoughts can send the actual doing stuff and that is never something that you want to happen can i get a boyfriend mine are strict so they won't until 15 or higher and i completely agree i completely agree you guys should not be dating at this age, you guys should be focusing on who you are, where you want to be, and what you're trying to do with your life. Make sure that your life is going down a path that you're going to be proud of. Don't get distracted by these little boys and these little girls because all they're going to do is play with your head and leave you upset. I'm just saying. And that was a question I got from a lot of people because somebody said their parents, she wanted a boyfriend, but she couldn't get one until she was 16. So I'm telling y'all, all y'all all, all at the same time, no. You don't need no boyfriend or no girlfriend. Focus on you, boo-boo. Okay, thank Yeah. Y'all, so this is another question that I got a lot from like a lot of people, y'all. If they accept LGBT people, I think my mom would support, but my dad is very conservative. And that is something that, as a, a gay person, is one of the toughest questions to ask or even answer. Because some parents want you to be happy. Some parents want you to live your best life. Some parents want you to do what the hell they want you to do when they want you to do it. And it sucks. I mean, the best way to do it, I would say, is to just bring it up in conversation. Like, oh my God, so my friend just came out of the closet and, you know, how do you feel about that? Like, if you had a gay child, how would you feel about it? And just get their responses that way. Make it, like, neutral because you don't want them to be, like, assuming that it's you because if they assume it's you, then shit's gonna get real ugly real soon so you gotta just like you gotta find a way to play that about like at dinner whenever like, oh my god girl let me tell you what happened at school today so so and so da, da. like you gotta like yeah yeah that's just a toughie but i say just like bring up make up a story if you gotta make up a story but just you want to build that conversation you want to make this a conversation piece and not a direct point you know what i'm saying so like yeah i hope that helped do I have a secret sibling I don't know about? See, that's the question that I'd be wanting to ask, okay? Because my daddy's still having kids, and I still met the baby one time, I think. I don't even, oh, uh, okay, yeah. This question is. If this question makes me want to call my daddy and be like, so you got any more children I don't know about? See what you done made me do? Now I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to end the video call him and find out, girl. But that's the question you need to ask your daddy. Don't ask your mama, because your mama wouldn't know. Your mama's not one of the people that's gonna go ask your daddy, because I feel like your daddy might be out there slinging dingling, okay? And you need to ask him, because he might have children you don't know about, sis. I'm just saying. The next question is to smoke weed or get into drugs. First of all, listen. Me being a avid weed smoker, honey, you know, a weed connoisseur, I don't see an issue with smoking marijuana. But at the same time, you have to be very, very, very aware and understand that weed is also a gateway drug. Just like drinking alcohol, they are gateway drugs that get you into bigger drugs that will ruin your life, okay? You don't want your life to be ruined, so if you can't control yourself and control your urge to keep up with the next person, honey, stay away from drugs, because drugs will ruin your life, period, okay? Oh, if I'm really adopted, now that's a good question, honey. I be asking myself this all the time. Like, bitch, am I adopted? Didn't I see my siblings? I'm like, no. I look just like the motherfucker. Like, arr, arr. Did I turn out the way you wanted? Was I a mistake? Yo. 
I ask myself this question all the time. It's not something that I will like sit down and be like, mama, you know, hey, am I who you wanted me to be? Was I a mistake? Because I personally feel like I'm not a mistake to my mom. Like me and my mom are super duper close. Like we're best friends. I love her more than anything in this world. That is my best friend, my biggest supporter. Like everything is my mom, period, point blank, bottom line. Do I think I was a mistake? Having me at a young age and not be able to live your life to the fullest, being able to graduate and go to prom and do all this stuff, I would think that I was a mistake. And that's just because I just, you know, you never want to think that you are the reason that your parents didn't get to live their lives. Unless you're one of those lucky kids in America whose parents got married, had you, and they got to live their lives, da da da, da. But if you are in my shoes, then was that a mistake is definitely a question that I really would, you know, ask my mom, but I'm not going to because I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got me used. Okay, Lord Jesus. But don't ask your parents if you was a mistake because they tell you, yes, you're going to be depressed. Okay? So just leave that one alone. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, a lot of us want to grow up to make our parents proud and to be there for our parents and just to be that all around a crazy person that your parent wants you to be. Okay, this is not as deep as everybody else's, but I'm always scared to ask my parents to go places. They're so strict and they hate me going places because they can't watch me closely. That I completely understand. In today's society, it is so scary for you to just walk out of your house and be you, have fun, because there are so many twisted and just corrupt people who will take your fun outing and turn it into something horrible. So as a parent being strict and wanting to protect their child, I completely agree. Sometimes it's better to have friends come over and have fun at home than it is to go out and put yourself in harm's way. So I completely agree with the parents on this situation. If you want to ask your parents about going place without them, you need to do it. Just sit them down like, listen, mama, I love you, dad, I love you. You know me as your child. I'm very responsible, this, that, and the third. And just lay it out there. I mean, the least they can do is say no, okay? Somebody said, can I get birth control? I'm going to say this for your parents. Hell no. Because when you get birth control, you start thinking about fucking. If you're thinking about fucking, I mean, you don't need no birth control and you don't need to be out there fucking, period. No, uh-uh, honey. Don't do that. Well, alrighty guys, there you have it. Me reacting to and responding to most of all of the questions that you guys are afraid to answer your parents. If you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did, give this video a big old thumbs up, you guys. I want you guys to answer a question for me. Do you guys think that you are the person that your parents want you to be? If so, what are you doing right? If not, what do you think you're doing wrong? Let's talk about it, you guys. Listen, don't forget to follow me on all my social media and come follow me if you guys want to. Most of you guys, don't forget to love yourself, love someone else. I will see you guys next time. Deuces.